I invite you to be seated. That hymn was sung at my ordination, so it was lovely to sing it again. Unlike the Apostle Paul, there is no statue of Barnabas in St. Peter's Square at the Vatican. The Bible contains stories of his ministry, however, no lengthy words of wisdom that he spoke or wrote. Many lifelong Christians don't even know his name. And yet, where would Paul and the Christian church be without Barnabas? Because it was Barnabas who believed Paul when the other disciples were afraid of him. It was Barnabas who sensed the Holy Spirit in him, the grace of God, when others were skeptical about Paul's change of heart. It was Barnabas who was Paul's partner in ministry as they shared the good news of Jesus Christ throughout the Mediterranean. And without the Apostle Paul, the way of Jesus Christ might have stayed the way for only a few thousand people. Without the Apostle Paul, the good news of God's love might have only stayed within the Jewish faith. Without the Apostle Paul, we might not be here today, praising God, gathered in community, sharing hope and love, and improving lives. The Apostle Paul's ministry changed lives and changed the world, and none of that would have been possible without Barnabas, without Barnabas and his encouragement. As I celebrate the 25th anniversary of my ordination this week, I am especially aware of those who have encouraged me along my ministry and faith journeys. I have been blessed to be a part of six Christian communities, stretching from Michigan to Massachusetts, as well as multiple wider church ministries. The ordained and lay ministers of each of those congregations and ministries have encouraged and nurtured my Christian faith. Their words of wisdom, their listening ears, their practical resources have been much needed because as you well know, the way of life and ministry can be daunting. It can have its moments of exhaustion, discouragement, and frustration. The Apostle Paul had those moments. More than once, his message was unwelcome in the place where he was preaching. More than once, Paul's words caused a riot and he had to be snuck out of the city to safety. Despite being an eloquent speaker, sometimes Paul discovered that his message was being misunderstood. And more often than he would have liked, Paul discovered that he had to find a new way when the Holy Spirit showed him that his way was not God's way. The demands of life and ministry can be exhausting. The work can be discouraging, People can be frustrating. Paul knew all too well how frustrating. On their first missionary journey that Paul and Barnabas took together, a man named Mark came along with them. And it, it ended up being too challenging for Mark. And he gave up and he went back. Well, when Mark wanted to join them on their second journey, Paul said no. Barnabas believed in Mark, though, and just like Barnabas had done for Paul, Barnabas advocated for Mark. Barnabas encouraged Paul to give Mark a second chance, and then Barnabas mentored and encouraged Mark. And in time, even Paul changed his, his mind and acknowledged Mark's gifts for ministry. Barnabas clearly deserved his name. He wasn't just the son of encouragement. He embodied encouragement. Barnabas believed in Paul, advocated for Paul, and partnered with Paul. Barnabas encouraged Paul and likely many others, saying, have hope. Keep listening to the Spirit. Keep going. Don't let exhaustion, discouragement, frustration get you down. You have the right gifts to provide hope, spread love, and improve lives. We all need a Barnabas, an encourager in our lives. Who has that person been in your life? When you wonder if you are being called to a particular ministry within or beyond this church community, 
Who is there praying and listening for the Spirit with you? When you have wondered if your literal or figurative seed planting is ever going to bear fruit to help anyone at all, who is there saying, have hope, keep going? When the way before you seems too challenging, the grief too deep, the resistance too much, the worries too many, who is there encouraging you? Who is there reminding you to listen to God, to trust God, to know that you are a beloved child of God, able to do amazing things? Who is your Barnabas? Who have the Barnabases been in your life? In my life, I am blessed to have parents, a husband, sister, and son who encourage me on my life and faith journey. There have also been countless Christians and other believers along the way who have affirmed my gifts, who have fed me, provided emotional, spiritual, and financial support, especially in seminary. They have hugged me and laughed with me, sent me notes, and in so many ways encouraged me to keep going to keep listening to God's spirit, to have hope, to love, and to continue to plant seeds of love. One of my Barnabases gave me a little pocket hug coin that says, may you be proud of the work you do, the person you are, and the difference you make. Another gave me decorative wood blocks that I have arranged on my home desk to read. Be the light, but first pray. Many others have drawn or colored me pictures. And long ago, a member of my home church, a man I did not know well, although he had known me my whole life, this man, after hearing my sharing on a stewardship Sunday about what that church meant to me, this man wrote me the most beautiful letter, affirming that he saw the grace of God in me, affirming my gifts for ordained ministry, and encouraging me to keep going, to have hope, to provide hope, to spread love and improve lives. Who are the Barnabases in your life? Who has encouraged you on this way of life and ministry? And who have you encouraged? Who have you mentored? Who have you partnered? Who have you advocated for? Who have you seen the Spirit of God in, the grace of God upon, and you have supported them as they walk their way of life and ministry? In Paul's letter to the church he helped form in Thessaloniki, he writes, Therefore, encourage one another and build up each other, as indeed you are doing. Paul's words to the Thessalonians might have been words shared with him by Barnabas encourage one another, build each other up, provide hope, spread love, improve lives. All of us, including the Apostle Paul, have been blessed to have people in our lives who have believed in us, supported us, listened to us, and encouraged us. And each of us is called to share those gifts on, being an encourager of others, Barnabas to the world. Amen.